Right, hello, welcome back to another video. It's just a short one for you today. Got this bail grab into repair. So I didn't intend in video in this job because there's not much to see really. Um, this is a bail grab for picking up bales that are wrapped so you don't damage the wrap. There's a ram on the back here that opens the jar up, but the problem is these holes are worn oval where the ram goes in. That hole, them holes are oval as well, so the, the whole lot's slopping about. So that's a simple fix. I've just made some bushes. Just gonna weld them on either side and put a longer pin in. That'll sort that job out. Trouble is, this pin here is seized up into the bush that goes through the main arm. I can't get in to warm it up. I can't get in anywhere to give it any heat. I've given it a few smacks with Big Hammer and the pin has not even moved. So what I'm gonna do is just blast it through with thermal lamps, melt the middle of the pin out, and then I can knock it out. So I thought you might be interested in seeing the thermal lamps. Uh, I'm not gonna bother filming, repairing the rest of it because it's just, you know, it's just simple welding bushes round. But yeah, I'm gonna video that. Right, so this is the handpiece. It's a RK slice thermal lamps. And they're your rods. I think they're quarter rods. You see down the end of it. Um, you put that in a handpiece, then you strike it on the striker, and it like direct short circuits it, and then it blasts oxygen down the inside of the rod and burns the rod away. And then whatever you touch the rod against, it melts. So you just connect one end to your battery, and then you strike it onto the other side of the battery, and just strike it across. So the pin has a grease hole that goes all the way through to the middle, so that'll help me a bit because I haven't got so much to gouge out to, to blow out and then just blow it all the way through and then take as much out as you dare without melting into the outer bit and then when it cools down the pin like shrinks a little bit breaks the rust free and then you can knock them out So I've got blown through the middle of the pin, you can see daylight through the other side now. I'll just have to chop this end of the pin off because where I've been hitting it, it's mushroomed it out a bit. So I'll just have to chop it off at grinder, I'll cool the pin down and hopefully it should knock out. Right, so I've got the arm out now. Um, I tack these bit of tube on 
to hold the pin so I could give it a good smack, but I was still struggling to get enough force. So what I've done is I chopped down the side of the pin with a reciprocating saw. I've got my arm out here. You can see there isn't much left of the pin now, so it should knock out reasonably well. But if I can get it sat on something solid, the only thing I'm lacking is someone to hold the punch for me. So, I'm, so I might have to weld another bit of tube on there to hold the pin so I can give it some good smacks and knock it out. Right, so I've got it, I've got a bit tacked on the bottom to support it around the tube. A bit tacked on the top to hold my pin. So hopefully now, a good few smacks that should come out. So it's coming out now, but the the pin I was knocking it out with is too similar size to the pin that I'm knocking out and it, the pin got stuck, so I'm taking that tube off, I'm just going to use that now I think to knock it out the rest of the way, it's fairly loose now. Right, so I've got the pin out, uh, there's not much left of it. Trouble is, you can see it's it's burnt through the side of the bush. Uh, that's the trouble with small diameter pins. If you wander off slightly, you end up burning through the side and burning through the bush, which is no great problem. I can It won't take me long just to nip them welds off. Five minutes to nip them welds off, 20 minutes in the lathe, make a new bush to go through the centre. Weld it back in, but yeah, it was worth a try getting it out. But um, just with it being such a small diameter pin. So yeah, that was a short little video on how the thermal lance works. Um, I was successful getting the pin out. It's just a shame it burnt through the bush, but that's just how it is. Sometimes it's not all plain sailing. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.